Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. We're back with a new week of What's for Dinner. We've got some very easy homemade meals for you this week. We had a big announcement in our family, something we're really excited about. Can't wait to share with you guys. Hope you enjoy all the meals this week and you get some ideas for some easy things to fix at your house. Have a blessed day, y'all. Our, my menu plans have gone off the rails the last couple of days, but for the very best of circumstances, our niece, who was pregnant and was due to deliver in late January, went into labor. We have a new addition to the family, a very healthy nine pound, two ounce baby girl that they've named Allie. Last night, we grabbed some chicken fingers at 11 o'clock at night. And tonight on the way home from seeing Allie again, we have stopped at Papa John's. It's way across town. We have not had Papa John's since we moved in this house and we are very excited to have pizza. That's what's for dinner tonight. This is another really quick, easy weeknight dinner. This is something we bought at Sam's. I actually had an Abata rebate on them. They still have them as opposed to the meatloaf slices, which we've shown in a previous video that I do not think they have anymore. What I like about this, in addition to them being really fast, they have instructions for the oven, the microwave, but most importantly, I'm going to do them in the air fryer. There are nights when I really just don't want to cook as much as I love to cook. We both love to eat, so I'm just going to make Tim something that he really likes. Those country fried steaks are really easy. I did mashed potatoes in the microwave, gravy on, and corn on the stove. The whole thing from start to finish probably takes 15 minutes or less. Yes, I know it's processed. Yes, I know it's probably not good for us, but he loves country fried steak with mashed potatoes and gravy, and I'm happy eating cereal or popcorn or leftovers. So that is what's for dinner tonight. Next up, I made a recipe I haven't made in a year or two, but the last time I made it, we did film the entire thing and share it in a separate video. So I will leave a link to that in an iCard above and also a link below. It's an easy turkey crock pot chili. I just brown my turkey on the stovetop with some onion and garlic and add everything to the crock pot, including the secret ingredient, which is, drum roll, a can of pumpkin. And I let this cook all afternoon and we got a couple of nights worth of meals out of this one. Put a little too much broth in it, but we will eat it. Crock pot turkey chili with Fritos cheese and sour cream this is what's for dinner tonight it's a good day for chili i don't know if it got out of the 30s today i think it's 36 right now Tonight we're having a true pantry meal. I'm using what I had rather than going to buy stuff to go with it. We don't have any tzatziki, so it's not really truly Greek, but I had two pita flatbreads in the freezer and some lamb euro meat from a big box from Sam's. So we've made a wrap with just mozzarella, feta, red onion, and olives. We've got a big Greek salad, we've got some hummus. Didn't have any pita, extra pita or pita chips, so we're just gonna eat it with carrots. So lamb gyro wraps and a Greek salad is what's for dinner tonight. I'm trying to be more intentional and cook more from my pantry and freezer. So I took out a piece of flank steak and thawed it out and mixed up a marinade. A quick disclaimer, if you don't like the look of medium rare or rare meat around the five minute 50 second mark, you need to look away. I mixed up a marinade from a website called Isabel Eats. It uses olive oil, 
orange and lime juice and some seasonings. I put the flank steak in there in the refrigerator and marinated it for about two or three hours before I got it out to cook. We were gonna cook flank steak outside. It started raining. My other disclaimer is Tim has always cooked flank steak for me. This was my first time to try it. I have never cooked it inside or cooked it in a cast iron skillet. It registered on the meat thermometer that it was the right temperature, but it was a little red. We did heat it up in the air fryer or the microwave for leftovers and it was much more cooked. I fixed some rice and onions and peppers on the side. In the drippings from the steak, I also sauteed some mushrooms. So we're having some carne asada or steak fajitas tonight with rice. I was gonna make guacamole, but we're still trying to be good. So a fajita a piece and rice is what's for dinner tonight. Ole. Thanks for stopping by for another week of what's for dinner. Hope you have a wonderful and truly blessed week ahead.